Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be touring the island of Sugar Plum by my good friend Sammy. If you guys have been around the channel for a while or attended any live streams, you would know that Sammy is an incredible island designer. Almost everything she makes is magic. She was born with the terraforming shovel like in her hand. I wish I was joking, but I'm really not. This island is a natural winter island. It's absolutely under unbelievable. And if you're looking for some winter inspiration for your winter islands, then look no further. I've got you right here. Let's get started. I love the green mums paired with all of the white. It just looks so pretty for like a little pop of color. Right away when you get onto the island, there is a little duck pond here. She's never gonna live that down. Um, very beautiful. I'm sure you expect to see ducks when you come to her islands now, but look at how pretty this beach is. There's a little picnic area right over here, right next to some quaint little cozy camping. I love this, it's absolutely gorgeous. The hard part about this island is going to be deciding where to take a thumbnail from. Now, if you look, the campsite is really close to resident services, but it doesn't actually feel that close. It's crazy. It's almost like you're in a whole other world over here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move forward. This little area right here with the teddy bear is super cute. I love how the dark brown kind of contrasts with all of the white snow. It is really pretty. And then her cliffscaping over here is a stunning. I love this little river over here that goes up and over the cliff to a backwards um, sort of waterfall and has this cute little bridge moment right over here. And just to give you a view of what all of this looks like, um, this is incredibly breathtaking. Almost everything she does is just an amazingly beautiful scene. So we're back at Residence Services right over here, but I'm going to continue up this incline over here. Now this incline is going to give you a cute little view of the beach down there, which is really nice. I really love the way that that's kind of working. And there's a little camp spot right up here, which I think is super cozy with a little puppy dog. And then there's a laundry area down on the beach over there, which I love. It's super inspired with another tent on the rocks. Very nice. And then I'm going to make my way up this beach because she actually decorated her beaches this time, which is really, really nice. So here she has another little camping area, which is super cute. She asked me for Yule logs, but I feel like she should have asked me for kids tents. And the little laundry area over here is absolutely adorable. I love that she uses washer machines um, because it's just, I just think it's so fun. And then we have another little camping area over here on the beach. A lot of people like going to the beach in the snow with the camping area. Over here, as Sammy does, she created an entire scene out of the river mouth and it looks stunning. I am going to stand right here and give you as good of a view as I can of this area. It's so pretty over here. I really do love it. It's gorgeous. And then over down this beach, there's another little picnic area over here, which is super cute. And the peninsula looks like a little gift giving station or a little gift giving party, like a little Christmas party. And it's really pretty as well. I do love how that came out. So there's a villager house right over here and we have Shino. Shino's beautiful and another villager. I don't know who that is. Okay, let's look at the map. The map is going to tell you who's on the island. We have Sammy, Teddy, Bo, Mary, Skye, Doby, Fauna, Shino, Bianca, Mitzi, and Rosie. All good villagers. So I'm standing in front of Rosie's house. Rosie is actually on my island. So the fact that I didn't recognize her house is um, kind of funny. And over by Rosie's house, she has a little ice rink, which I love. And look at the little ice right over here. 
Oh, that's so cute. She put a fire hydrant right over here. You know, the, the water has to come out somewhere, right? To create the ice. Yeah. And um, there's just a little reading area right over here. It looks so cozy and so quaint. And as always, every time I see her islands, um, someone forgot to take out the trash. It's always a thing. It's totally fine. I'm used to it now. The bicycle parking is super cute right over here as well, as well as the laundry area up on the cliff in front. So to catch the, the winter scene going on from up here, it looks so pretty. Um, it looks like Rosie's into skiing. She has skis outside of her house, which is really cute. There's a little refreshment stand and like a coffee truck over in the corner, which is totally fitting with the vibe and the season it is right now. I love that it's a beautiful snowy day. I know she looked for a while to find a very pretty day that she could save her DA to. And over here, there are puppies. I mean, nothing says Christmas like puppies, right? Just don't turn the puppies back in to the shelter. Keep the puppies. Yes, they're a lot of work, but they're your family. And I love that someone's drinking a protein shake over here. Like they're, they care enough to be athletically conscious or health conscious. And there's more presents over here. So if you head back this way, there's a little path around the back, which I love. And then you can stop and use the phone over here and make your way up to this villager's house right over here. So this would be Mary's house. So Mary has a little sled out front. I love that. So I love this little barn situation going on right here. Um, it's such a great hiding place, honestly, and it looks so cool. I love the ice rink sign. That's really neat as well. Okay, so I'm going to come up here up the cliff and it looks like this area is ready for Christmas. I love the way these trees are situated. That is so pretty and all of the presents look gorgeous. Uh, Nook's Cranny also looks really good on this island. It really does. The blue roof being covered is kind of perfect and it makes it fit in really nicely with the vibe of this island. As usual, her cliffs are impeccably decorated because she's a pro. And if you come over this way, um, the Able Sisters is super cute as well. It has like a little jewelry stand. You can also get ice cream in front of the Able Sisters because uh, nothing makes you think of snow like ice cream, right? And then we have some puppies waiting for their owners so they can pull them on their sleds home, which is super, super cute. Over here, we have a little seating area in case you're waiting for somebody who is shopping at the Able Sisters and they're taking forever. You don't have to stand. Oh, I wish I had a shovel. Okay, because I have magic, I just wanna know what's there. Hey, Sammy, you got a fossil right over here. Too bad I can't go get it assessed. Okay, now here we go off to the beautiful garden. So here we have a meadow, like a mum and a hyacinth and cosmo meadow. This looks gorgeous, so beautiful, and it leads to the back beach. So I love the way this was made up over here. She used the log stakes on the back beach, which look really, really nice. If you look at this right here, this is just gorgeous. It's so pretty. Everything she does is magical. And this little meadow right here, I just love. It's so beautiful. All of the white with a pop of green is just stunning. There is an overlook right up here. So if you want to see it from um, above, you can come right here and look at it and it is still beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna come around this way and we have Grandpa Doby's house, I love it. Um, and he is all ready for all of his manly stuff that he does, you know, like wood chopping and, you know, stuff like that. It really cool stuff. You know, he does cooler stuff than we do because my grandpa's cooler than yours. But look at the terraforming around. It looks so pretty over here. I just love the way she manages to create all of this. It's like a snow globe, right? Like if you shake it with the snow coming down, it's so pretty. Again, from up here, this looks magical. It's so pretty. And I love all of the little sprinkles of things on the lake right here. It's beautiful. This overlook is absolutely gorgeous. And even from here, it's like a Hallmark card. It's so pretty. 
So moving right along over here in the most beautifulness of it all. I don't know. I'm running out of adjectives. Y'all help me out. I, I am running out of words to use to describe her islands at this point. They're all so pretty. Like no one has any right to be this good. Really? We have a little pumpkin farm over here with the green pumpkins, which are super fitting on this island and a villager house over here and the green and white pumpkins behind it. This is super cute as well. I love the way this looks. It's just like a little hidden gem, right? It's so cute. I love the way this is. And then again, right at the bottom of the incline, we have another stunning view of her terraforming. It's so pretty over here. So I'm gonna make my way up this path right here. And um, we have Bianca, she's really cute. She's such a pretty villager. And I'm gonna see about this cliff right over here. Okay, so I think this is Shino's house and Shino's house ended up going really well on this island as well. It's super pretty and I do love the way it looks. Here in the snow is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And then over here, we have Bo hanging out. And Bo is such a cutie. And I really love this little takeout box, that custom code right there. And the white Christmas trees just are so perfect on this island. Even the white destination uh, signpost. She did this really good job of using like all of the white, but then adding in just these little pops of color, even if it's just a villager or like a villager's house or like a different neutral color. There's always just a little pop to kind of draw your eyes. And it does look really beautiful. We're already at the front end of the island. What in the world? I have no idea how I got here, guys. But let's look at the forest. It's a beautiful forest. I love that so much. It's gorgeous. This area as well is absolutely stunning. She has the spiral, the art spiral, spiral kind of layering down, really. Like she's so good at this and using the rules of threes. She's really good at all of these things. She knows her color palettes really well. Like she doesn't know the color palettes technically, but she has an eye for them. And it's not like anyone I've ever met. She's so good at these things. So this is just a little spot, really. It's not anything like quote unquote significant on her island. But I just wanted to point out the terraforming and how natural and pretty it looks. And it's so simple in the way of decor, but the way she places things is absolutely just stunning. There are no words for how she actually manages to come up with all of this. It's so beautiful. So right this way, I spy the museum and the museum looks gorgeous. I love that she has presents in front of it. The red is not obnoxious on it. It actually looks great in the winter time here. Um, this is so, so pretty. Wow. All of the puppies actually make it look so much fun. This is such a magical area right here. And I never thought I'd say that about the museum. So just behind the museum, we have another villager house and this is so cute. It has the glowing moss pond in front of it, a little bunny. It's so pretty and I love the way it's framed with all of the snowy white trees. Um, the decor in front is very simple, but it's really effective with the wheat fields and the bunny and just the layering is gorgeous. I'm going to go check out what's going on behind it because I do see a um, bridge, like a land bridge, which is super cool. So that is the way to Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters. I did come around the other way, so that's why I didn't go up this way. Uh, initially, I came from the right, so um, down there was the ice skating rink. But right up here is super pretty, and this is beautiful. Okay, so you're not supposed to do this, okay? Um, I know that this is a dream address. I'm not supposed to be up here. This isn't like actually accessible. I just wanted to show you though, look at all of the work that goes into this terraforming. Like she spends hours and days terraforming on her islands and you can tell she puts so much work into this and it does look so good. 
So right now I'm in front of her house. I'm not sure if her house is decorated or not. I'm gonna go inside and check first. And if it's not, then I won't take you in. And if it is, I will take you in. I just wanted to show you the waterfall situation going on in front of the house because it is beautiful. And shockingly, we are this close to resident services. Resident services is straight over to the right, which is crazy. This is right next to resident services and it is stunning. I just realized that there's no way to get to this area right here. Apparently you're not supposed to get to it. I feel like you should be able to get to it though. We're here, all right? And it's super cute and I love it. I think it's absolutely adorable. The little puppies and um, the baby bear were building snow people over here and they look super precious and I love the way this looks. This is such a great little area. Apparently you're supposed to view it from the entrance like this. I never do anything the way you're supposed to, but this looks super pretty as well. I do love this island. Sugar Plum is so cute. So this is the front of her house. The front of her house has some very beautiful, simple decor. I love the little wreath that she used on the chairs right here. That's really cute. Um, it's just really nice and I love the way that came out. And I'm gonna go inside. So inside, she did decorate. Oh my goodness, look at that. She did a very simple living room with a library wall or like a bookshelf wall and just a cute little seating area with a reading nook and a Christmas tree with presents under it. But honestly, what more could you possibly want? So she sent me a picture of this basement before I came onto her island. So if this looks like anything other than the photo, she's gonna hear it. Okay, as promised, there was nothing spooky down here, just some like storage. It looks like we're storing things for Christmas day, like a dessert counter and some magazine racks and stuff. I don't know what's in the boxes, but obviously she didn't finish unpacking. And um, yeah, it's all just a very, very simple, it looks like uh, somebody lost a store, like an antique store or something, and um, their leftover merchandise got put in here. But this upstairs, oh my goodness, it's magic. Look at how beautiful this is. So pretty. I really want to move into this room, minus the washer machines. I don't want any washer machines in my bedroom because um, I don't want to think about chores, but I do want to sit on this bed and lay down and watch television. Wow, this is so charming and beautiful. I would love to be able to tell you that I'm surprised, but I'm not. She's just good at everything and it's fine. Some people are, you know. Some people are um, just own quite a bit more of the talent than the rest of us, and that's totally fine. <laughs> no worries, I don't feel left out at all. So this is the cliff behind resident services. I know um, it's just there, and you don't usually get to see things like this, but I just wanted to show you how pretty it was all decorated. Everything is so stunning, and I really love the way she layers cliffs and then has valleys behind them where she manages to show everyone uh, such beautiful things and she has such lovely perspectives that she builds into her islands and it's all so cool and so magical. So if you're not following Sammy over on Instagram, you should be following Sammy over on Instagram. Everything she does is magic and she's so good at this and she's just an amazing person with a super kind heart. She's gonna get mad at me for saying nice things about her, but I don't care. I'm gonna put a link to her socials down in the description below, along with the dream address. And I would love for you to comment down below and let her know how beautiful this island is and how much fun it looks like and how inspiring she is. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. I know that you can be anywhere on the entire internet and you chose to spend a little bit of your time here with me and I really appreciate that. I hope you all have an amazing day or night. I hope you feel all of the love that I am sending to you right now and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye, Shino.